Like most Canadians, I'm pretty ignorant when it comes to nuclear power plants. I mean, I know we have them, they seem to work. Other than that, it's all good. And for some reason, I walk around having faith that the government or someone has a system in place to ensure that they're safe and they're up to date. After all, this is a country where you can't buy a hockey helmet unless it's got a CSA approved sticker slapped on the sucker. So I didn't like waking up in the morning and reading that a nuclear power plant in Chalk River that was built in 1957 when Diefenbaker was prime minister has been closed because they haven't bothered to install their legally required safety backup system. That's not a good story. That's a bad story. That's a head should roll kind of story. Now normally, in these situations, the buck should stop with the minister in charge. That would be Gary Lunn, Minister of Natural Resources, who, as it turns out, knew that this plant didn't have a safety backup system four months ago and did absolutely nothing. Not a problem, according to Gary, because in his opinion, they don't need one. And Gary should know, after all, this is a man who spent most of his professional life teaching public education courses on home renovation contracts. So, by all means, if you want to know whether you should run your rain pipe down the left or right side of your house, call Gary. But other than that, everything this man knows about nuclear power, he basically learned reading a Spider-Man comic. And then we have our Prime Minister, Stephen Harper. He blames the whole thing on the Liberals. And not because a Liberal didn't install the backup system, no, but because the woman who blew the whistle on the power plant was appointed by the Liberals. She's also an expert on nuclear power and the head of the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission. And Stephen Harper, an economist by trade, now wants her fired. Harper is like the mayor in Jaws saying, we can't close the beach, it's the long weekend, the tourists are coming. Except in this movie, the woman who stood up for Canada, the one who blew the whistle, is the one who might get eaten.